Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Cade from MP Tennis. Today we're going to be talking about a super serious tennis topic, and that is tennis elbow. Now, if you're a tennis player, most of you guys at some point in your tennis careers have had some, some sort of elbow pain or tennis elbow. I know I have, and it sucks a lot. So we're going to be talking about that today. We're going to be talking about some exercises you can do and some tips to get rid of your tennis elbow. Now, when we get into the exercise piece, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physio, but these are exercises that I've been given uh, when I had tennis elbow that really helped me. And I also want to share some things that help me get rid of my tennis elbow that can help you guys. So let's jump into the video right now. Before we jump into the exercises, there's a couple things that I want to address that might uh, that might fix your tennis elbow right away before even having to do exercises. So the number one thing uh, people get tennis elbow from is the racket that they're using. You need to be extremely careful and know what racket you're using. If you have a very stiff racket, that can cause a lot of elbow pain or elbow like problems. So make sure if you have that problem, it, it might be a good idea for you to move to a, a more flexible racket. So say like a Wilson Clash or like a Wilson Blade or something along those lines, more easier on your elbow. Number two is strings. A lot of people that have tennis elbow don't even know what strings you're using. So even if you don't have tennis elbow, it's important to know what string you're using. So if you do have it, you shouldn't be using a full bed of polyester. Or if you are, make sure it's the softest polyester that's out there because that's also going to be extremely strenuous on your elbow. So I would recommend going into a hybrid setup with a thin gauge string. So I don't know, maybe like a Gamma TNT on the cross and a Selenko Confidential on the main. Make sure it's thin gauge though, because that'll be even better for your arm. Or if you're really having a tough time, maybe go a full bed of multi-filament or natural gut if you got the big butts, big pucks. Um, but definitely the string and the racket are two really important things that will be able to help you. Number three, this is also one that can be a super quick fix. It is to drop your tension. So I know when I had some problems, I dropped my tension right away and it took away some of that achy pain that I had in my elbow. So I did uh, about three to four pounds and that made a difference. So that's a super quick fix. If you string your rackets, drop it by three or four pounds or if you get somebody else to string your rackets, get them to drop it by three or four pounds. It helped me, maybe it will help you guys. And the last two things um, are to use a dampener. I don't think it will make that big of a difference. It'll just lessen the vibration into your arm. And the other one is, is to do a proper warm up. So many people at the club level or even at a higher level, uh, it's super important to warm up. So no matter what your injury is, or even if you don't have an injury, it's extremely important to warm up uh, the body, get the blood going so you don't hurt yourself and you're just ready to go for your, your match. So the next thing is the exercises. I'm gonna take you guys through now, stay tuned. All right guys, we're here and we're ready to do the exercises. The very first one is an elbow joint rotation. So actually, if you guys watched my gym video the other day, I do do these part of my, my warm up. So these are the first ones you should do because it's really going to get your elbow warmed up and get the synovial fluids going. So this is how it is. I'm gonna have my palms out just like this at like a 90 degree angle and then I'm gonna, it's really important to do both arms and for uh, when, you, when you do the exercises, do both elbows. So I'm gonna start up like this. I'm gonna bring them up to my chest like this and then I'm gonna turn them and then go down like this. I'm gonna go here and then down. So if you do have a little bit of pain doing this, maybe don't do too many of these. Just go until it feels good. I would probably do about 15 to 20, uh, two or three times a day. And I would do these exercises two or three times a day. So this is number four, I believe. And once you get going, you can kind of pick up the pace, but don't go too fast. So this is an elbow 
joint rotation, all right? All right, so we're finished up with the joint rotations. Now we're gonna move into a couple stretches that I like that, that ease my tennis elbow pain. So the first one, uh, there are a couple forearm runs, so I'm just gonna put my arm out like this and I'm gonna point my wrist, or fingers down, I should say, and take my other arm and pull, or push against myself, against my wrist. So I can kind of move like this, and you should feel it on the top of your forearm right here. You can hold this for about 15 seconds, that's what I do. And then you can, so let's say I got to 15 seconds, I can rest, and then I can do the other arm. So like I said a little bit before, it's really important that you do both arms. Awesome. Back to the other one, and do this a couple times and do it two to three times a day. So once again, you should feel that right here. All right, so we're here with our second forearm stretch. This is gonna stretch the inside here of your forearm. Make sure you do both sides again. So I'm gonna go up on all fours, and I'm gonna start with my left arm, and I'm just gonna turn it in like this, and then you should feel a stretch right here. So hold it for about 15 seconds, do a couple deep breaths. And then switch to the other side. Same thing, deep breath. And once again, you should feel that right here in your forearm. Do this two or three times, and then do it two to three times a day, like the other one. So back to the other arm. This feels really good. It really stretches out your forearm if you're having some, some tenderness in there. And then you're good, two to three times a day. All right, so now that we're all done with the stretches, we're gonna move into some massage stuff with my trusty lacrosse ball. Come over here, camera. <laughs> I'm gonna put my arm out like this against the wall, and I'm gonna put the lacrosse ball up against my pec area. I know it might be hard for you guys to see, but then I'm going to draw circles with the ball around my, my pec area. All right, so this one is really important because if you do have tennis elbow, you're gonna have a lot of tightness or, yeah, I should say tightness in your pec area. So this could be very painful, especially with a lacrosse ball. You can also use a tennis ball uh, if this hurts too much. So once you've uh, massaged there, you can move it up to like the top of your shoulder. That could also be uh, very painful, uh, but just take it easy. Don't press too hard, but this will alleviate a lot of tightness. I would probably do this one for about 30 seconds and take a break and do the other side because your arm will get kind of tired of hanging out here. So I'll just switch sides here. Even though this is where I, I wouldn't get tennis elbow on this arm, it's important to do it. That is the, the lacrosse ball on your pec and the top of your shoulder there. So once again, lacrosse ball, the first one was rolling it in a circle around your pec area, and then the second one was more on your shoulder right here. Uh, you'll have a lot of tightness in there if you have tennis elbow. All right, so the very last massage technique we are gonna use is called cross fiber massage. So you can actually do this type of massage for a lot of injuries, not just tennis elbow. I, I used it for when I had perineal tendinitis. It's a great way to get rid of some pain and some scar tissue. So for this, I'm gonna use some cream just because it goes a little smoother, but you don't need it. So I'm gonna put some, just a little bit on my, my fingers. I'm gonna put it in the tender spot right here. So this is where my tennis elbow gets pretty uh, painful. So there is a tendon that runs right here. You can kind of warm it up here, warm it up. But once you find that tender spot, you're gonna move against it. So I'm gonna go like this. So you're gonna go across it rather than like this. This will get rid of a lot of scar tissue that would have built up in your tennis elbow. Uh, this, this could be very painful. Um, so I would say take your time, don't press too hard. Uh, but you're just moving across your tendon like that. That's why they call it cross 
fiber massage. Um, but when you're done, uh, it feels really good. So you could do this for even up to two minutes without stopping. Um, I mean, if it is hurting a little bit, take a break. Um, but it will feel very, very good once you're done. So you can even move into different spots. So I'm moving down a little bit on the tendon. And if you want, I'm gonna add a little bit more cream. So I actually don't even have tennis elbow right now and this feels really, really nice. So even if you don't have tennis elbow, this is something great to do before or after you play, uh, just to be kind to your elbows. <laughs> There's also a smaller tendon that runs right here. Once again, I'm not a physio or a doctor, but so I don't know the names of them, but it's right here. And sometimes people get tennis elbow in back here. So this could also be very painful uh, or tender rather. So you can also do the cross fiber massage right here. And you can also even go up higher towards your elbow. So I've been doing this for a little bit now. My fingers are actually starting to cramp a bit, so that's normal, but really dig in with your fingers um, to get rid of that scar tissue. Because then what might happen is if you don't do this and you think your elbow's feeling better, you're, you'll go out and play and it will just flare up again. So getting rid of the scar tissue will help it heal faster as well, uh, not just make it feel better, but it'll make it uh, heal faster. So make sure you do both arms too. One last thing, if you guys don't wanna do uh, the cross fiber massage, although I would really suggest it, if you have a massage gun, you can also stick that into a tender spot. Uh, don't put it on a high level, a low level. That will really loosen things up and stimulate, or stimulate sorry, uh, some blood flow in there, which is always a good thing if you have an injury. So uh, I know I have a massage gun, it works great in here, especially after the cross fiber or before. Uh, definitely try that if you have a massage gun. All right, everyone, there you have it. I hope uh, this video was valuable to you. If you have tennis elbow, I know your pain, it sucks. Try those exercises and also try those things that I was talking about earlier in the video. Uh, I think it will help you. Uh, I know it uh, relieved a lot of pain for me when I did all of those things, so definitely try those. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, uh, yet, please consider subscribing so you guys don't miss any videos. We got a lot of great content on there and a lot of great content to come. But that's going to do for today. Hopefully, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you guys in the next video.